Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elm Creek here in Farm Simulator 22 with me C Waddy and sorry I'm out of breath at the start of this video I've just run downstairs and ran back up again and it's never a good idea for me to do that um we are bailing as part of the contract that we started in the last video I've got the wind rowing done and as you can see, and now I'm doing the bailing. It's not going terribly well, I have to say. The pickup area on the balers is a little bit narrower than the the um, swath, so I, I keep missing bits. I keep missing quite decent chunky bits of grass lot. I mean, I'm probably not going to need all the grass. For the contract, but it does um does get a little bit annoying. Again, typically, when if I'm doing bailing myself on on my own fields and my own land and stuff, my own baler that I use, I do a cheeky little self edit of it to make the pickup a little bit wider. The uh, the pickup area there that you can see, that little yellow bit that's in contact with the ground with the rollers on. I think that's about uh, two and a half meters wide in the um, in the actual uh, baler's um, file. I generally go into Giant's editor and I make that about, I actually make it about six meters wide. Same on loading wagons. I make the, the pickup on loading wagons wider. I make the pickup area about as wide as the baler, maybe just a fraction wider than the actual baler. And that way you don't have to be so perfectly accurate when driving down the swaths um, to pick up all the grass or all the hay or all your straw or all your silage, whatever it is that you're doing. And it's something that probably I need to look at doing going forward. Well, I'll just get a thumbnail here for the screenshot. Uh, screenshot for the thumbnail. I always say thumbnail for the screenshot. I don't know why. Maybe I'm um, linguistically challenged. Linguistically challenged. Who knows? One thing I have done, and I'm only going to mention this right now at the start of the video, then we're going to move on from the subject. Um, I've turned my filters off today for this video. So the last video I recorded a little, a few minutes ago, half hour ago, an hour ago or whatever, I had the filters on. So the video that released Tuesday had the filters on. Today's video, I've turned the filters off, the NVIDIA filters. So you can compare apples to oranges, lemons to grapefruits, um, tangerines to plums, strawberries to pumpkins um, and see the difference and no doubt Mr. Helgi will be tabbing backwards and forth he'll open up both videos because this, this is you know, his thing he'll go back and he'll watch Tuesday's video and he'll watch this video he might even put them side by side on his twin monitor setup and watch both videos side by side and then he'll tell me which one looks better <laughs> Filters on or filters off? Um, it's difficult to say. I, I've kind of got used to filters on for me, to be honest. And I quite like the filters on look in, in the game. When I'm playing the game, what I'm seeing on the screen, I prefer it with the filters on. However, for the video recording, that might not come across very well. I, I can fully accept that. But maybe the filters don't translate into the recording. They don't translate into the editing software. And they don't transfer into the YouTube processing, converting, downscaling. And genuinely ruining the quality of the videos. <laughs> so, we'll, um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not convinced either way. I might put the filters back on for me. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's how the game looks to me. It's my decision. You know, if I want the game to look a little bit washed out and a little bit newspapery or whatever, or cartoony or whatever, that's my choice. It's my decision. 
we all have our own preferences. We can all play the game how we want. We can all use whatever we tools and equipment we want. It's the great thing about Farming Simulator. There's no right or wrong way to do anything in this game. There's just options. There's just alternatives. You know. You just gotta be. You just gotta be open-minded and accept that other people prefer different things. You know how one person prefers the game to look might be different from you. Just go with it. Get it. Just enjoy the content that they're putting out. That's all you can do is appreciate the content. You know the fact that they're taking the time to give you stuff to watch and view. Whilst you're playing the game yourself, whilst you're working away on your own farms, maybe they're giving you ideas of things to try yourself. Now oh, I would like to try a much faster baler. <laughs> yeah, it, I don't know. It's a bit like um, spread to me. It's a bit like fertilizer spreaders, fertilizer sprayers. Bailers, they all seem to have been slowed down this year by Giants. I seem to remember in FS19, they all worked much, much faster. You know? I mean, it, it, it might be different because this year I'm obviously playing in miles per hour rather than kilometers an hour. Maybe the speed isn't any different. Maybe if I set the speed to kilometers, I would see how fast um, we are actually traveling. Let me do that as an experiment because I, I notice I've been playing in. Uh, I have been playing in. Miles per hour. Because obviously British UK from the UK English person. We've used miles per hour for speed. I know playing multiplayer that gets a bit confusing because when somebody asks you what your what speed you're doing in like a harvester or whatever and i say oh i'm doing 10 and they're playing in kilometers an hour and they set their vehicle to 10 and they can't keep up with me <laughs> it does cause a bit of a problem and they're like why am i not as fast as you uh, that 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 is why because you're playing in kilometers <laughs> But yeah, the, the, I mean, now this 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 baler is doing 17 kilometers. I feel that's that is a lot slower than FS19. In FS19, the balers did 24 kilometers an hour. So we've lost well seven seven kilometers an hour of speed from our our, our tools and our machines. Um, from these yeah so it does make a difference it does make a difference especially when you can't hand this part of the job off to a um, helper helpers can't do bailing they couldn't do tedding as we found in the last video as well or at least he wouldn't do tedding on this field so I've had to do all the tedding myself I've had to do all the wind rowing myself I mean, I know people say it's a contract, you're getting paid to do the job, you should do it. Fully agree. <laughs> it would have just been nice. Because it's 5pm now in game, it's going to get dark soon. And I'm going to be trying to find bales. I'm going to be driving around this field in the dark looking for bales. Pick up and collect and take to the cell point. The cell point that I actually don't even know where it is. I've not looked. I've not checked to see what cell point I've actually got to go to. It probably wouldn't surprise me if it was the animal dealer, which is on the complete opposite side of the map. <laughs> because that's normally how the game works with these types of contracts. I mean, the animal dealer on this map is up in the top left hand corner of the map, if you were wondering. Uh, where it is. Um, yeah, I, and I've got to keep driving back because I keep missing little bits. And, you know, because of the issue with contracts that we know we know about with like harvesting contracts and that, I can't, I'm really not prepared to take the risk of leaving all this grass. 
not picked up, not collected, and um, we find out then, come the end of the contract, that um, I need to go back and pick all this up. <laughs> the, the contract's not complete. yeah i think i think i would definitely prefer to use a slightly modified baler with a slightly wider pickup for baling jobs maybe like i say get my own baler with tweaked pickup area and then uh, that'd be a lot better I am enjoying tweaking things though. I have been doing some tweakings of mods and fixing a few things and changing a few things. Like I say, I managed to fix Giant's own Cedar mod that they brought out, their Cavernland Cedar, where they um they hadn't included the sound files in the mod and they were instead linking to sound files in the base game. But the sound files they were linking to were FS19 sound files, which don't exist in FS22. Uh, I managed to fix that. I was able to go and extract the sound files from the Cavernland DLC. And I was able to pop them into a folder in in the mod itself. And then link to the local the files in the mod. So I've not added any files to my game installation um, or anything. Because obviously that can impact your ability to play multiplayer if you start messing around with the installation files. But I have got the ability now to use the sounds with their Cavernlin Cedar. And like I say, I quite like the Cavernlin Cedar because it's got quite a big seed tank, 10,000 litres. A 12 metre cedar, I think it's 12 metre cedar. Yeah, it's 12 metre cedar. Got a 10,000 litre seed tank, doesn't do fertilising. It does do, it, 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 it's a sower and planter, which means it does all the crops on the map apart from potatoes. Um, so you can use it for planting everything, which is great, because it saves you having a separate, having to have a separate seeder and planter. Um, And I quite like it. I quite enjoy it. I, as I say, I've got it on my Hout Baylor on save. And it's quite nice. Although now, of course, as of yesterday, we've got the Great Plains Cedar. So on this map, maybe I'd be tempted to get the Great Plains Cedar and be using that. Um, the only slight issue with that is neither the Cavernland Cedar or the Great Plains one, are direct drill. So to be able to see the field, it does need to be ploughed or cultivated, or, you know, some... It needs to be treated in some way. The seedbed has to be prepared. Because it, it can't just um, do stuff. Um... What I love about these contracts as well, if we're going to look at the contract screen, we're 20% complete. Bearing in mind, I've mowed the whole field, I've tedded the whole field, I've windrowed the whole field. <laughs> okay. We're now baling the field. So we're on four fifths of the work here. We're on four fifths of the work, the four fifths of the job, and yet we're only 20% complete. I feel the contract should be about 80% complete once I've done the bailing because I've done four-fifths of the job. I would expect the final 20% of the job to be deliver the bales. <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit extreme, I think, that the bailing contracts, you do so much work and it counts for so little of the contract.
But yeah, we're getting a healthy supply of bales out of this, which is always good. We do like bales, kids. We like bales. But yeah, nice bailing contract just to complete this day. And then tomorrow in the game, on the next day, which will be, I think, October, won't it be, technically? We'll have, we'll have advanced the whole month because we're playing one day per month. And here on the map, no seasons. So our, our soybeans will have advanced another growth stage. So we'll be a step closer to harvesting. I'm wondering if I should maybe then start work on getting that um, field, that other field we've got next to the farm on the right hand so right hand edge of the farm, just across the road. Um, I wonder if I should start taking that area of land and start putting um, create a field on it. And get a field created on it. <coughs> and I'm thinking of maybe making it a grass field. And then I can look at getting like sheep and stuff. Because we'll have plenty of grass products. Be able to make hay and stuff. So we could start doing some sheep farming. I did think about chickens. But I think chickens are a little bit sort of easy mode. They seem, chickens seem to be a very, very efficient way of making money. Because they're not terribly expensive, even though, like, a chicken does cost you 50 quid to buy. Put in your pen. Like, like I've said before, I've never seen a chicken cost 50 quid. I eat a lot of chicken, and I would be very against paying 50 quid in a supermarket for a chicken. Um, I'd be like, you are having a laugh, supermarket. But yeah, they do. The, the eggs, eggs are very good value. And if you can get a pen full of chickens, you know, and pump out a good quantity of eggs every day or every month, um... Yeah, it's pretty good, very profitable. And that's like one pen. If you have multiple chicken pens pumping out multiple chickens, then, uh, wow, you're set. I think you're set then. At that point, you are, you're on a winner. Bailing's doing me head in a little bit because these swaths aren't picking up properly. I don't like missing bits. My, it, it triggers my OCD a little bit. But I think I just need to accept we can't pick up every bit because the swath's wider than the baler at points. I think instead we just focus on getting as the bulk of it done and then we can start doing... We could start doing the um, transporting bit then. The bit that actually earns us the money. Getting the bales delivered. Because like I say, I haven't checked to see where they need to be delivered. It's either It, it can only be one of a very few select places. And I imagine it's the animal dealer. And if it's the animal dealer, then that's... Well, like I say, that's opposite side of the map territory it's going to be a long journey I don't know how many square bales we can take at a time 
because I've not done square bales yet in FS22. I've only done round bales thus far. And I know the round bale collector can hold quite a few round bales. job of hoovering <laughs> hoovering up the grass the hay produced right, it is getting dark so I think about maybe delivering some bales in a minute seeing how many we actually can get away with there might be some leftovers there might be some extras and if that's the case, I might hang on to them. Typically, September's not a good time to be selling hay in the game. That tends to be at its lowest. Hay is at its lowest price because, you know, hay is plentiful in um, May, in September. Whereas in sort of December, January time, hay is a lot more, um, a lot more sought after shall we say, by the uh, farmers, especially those that keep livestock, of feeding them. So if we do get some grass bales spare at the end of this contract, I might just keep hold of them for a couple of months, and then we can take them and sell them. Later on in the year. Few rows, well, still quite a few rows left. Might switch over to the baler and do a couple of, uh, couple of collections runs. Just to give me a break from this machine, and also give us a chance to go and see where we've got to deliver them. So yeah, at the end of this row, I'll switch over to the the actual collector. Come on, swath. Come on, balers. I can see me having to edit every one of these vehicles in game to uh, <laughs> make the pickup area bigger because it's missing too much stuff. And I'd have to modify the vanilla ones because, of course, as far as I'm aware, the game only offers you vanilla equipment for missions. It doesn't offer you modded equipment for missions. Despite the fact the game now does let offer modded equipment, modded vehicles and tools in the second hand shop. Which is interesting. So I'm wondering at what point So uh, let's look at this then. Bit up. Right, switch that off for a second. We're gonna go this bad boy. Put him into collection mode. And collect some bales. So where does this contract want to go? Animal dealer. Figured, figured as much. Figured as much. Animal dealer is all the way up here. I would, we would have to deliver it there. Yeah. 
That's quite a trek. But we'll get them picked up. We'll get the bales collected. We'll get them sold. I think this is probably going to transport, what, 14 bales, maybe? At a time. 12, maybe? 15? 16? I don't know. We're over a quarter, and we've got four. So half would be at, yeah, it's probably going to be 16. There'll be a lot of driving backwards and forwards. thing is they're not round bales which means I don't have to go hunting in the trees <laughs> for them in ditches because they haven't rolled away Again, roll on getting auto load trailers so we can transport, you know, 50 pallets, at, 50 bales at a time, you know, pick up and transport 50 bales at a time. 14 is the magic number. So, yeah, I'm going to be working well into the night on this, I think. <laughs> no other way to put that transporting 14 bales at a time not going to be very handy the alternative there would have been to have used um, a high density baler that does um, higher capacity bales Instead of the regular sort of 4,000 litres, they do like 8,000 because they, they really do extra compact and squish the bales. And really cram the stuff into the same vol the same volume, if you like. A high density baler would be better because A would have less bales to pick up then because each bale would contain more stuff. That would mean fewer journeys. Again, I'm just thinking how I would play this. If I was the farmer and I had that field and I was trying to be efficient, I wouldn't want to be making 20 journeys backwards and forth with bales. I would want to make as few trips as possible. Put down on um, expenses such as fuel. General wear and tear on your vehicle. You know? not really spent a lot of time in this area i don't know if i need to be hunting around for collectibles i probably don't have the time because we need to get crackalacking crackalacky doodaring with this um contract Ladies and gentlemen, we are 16% transported. Enjoy nature. Try to.
We try to. Back to field 71. Carry on picking up bales. No, we don't go that way. We don't take that road. Take this one on the right hand side up here. Need to come and have a hunt around some of these buildings too at some point. See if there's any collectibles around them. Because again, I've not really been to a lot of the building areas. Because at the moment, don't own any of the um, productions. There's very little reason for me to go to those places. Keeping my eyes on everything. All right, we'll go back this way now. Pick up more bales. interesting i'm going i'm actually going faster than the stacker can cope with because i'm at the ba next bale before the stacker's ready for it <laughs> i'm like come on stacker faster 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 means go more fast Faster means might go more fast. <laughs> yeah, pick the bales up. Let's get on with the show I think this is going to be finishing in the dark job I don't think I'm going to have much choice on the matter and there's bail number 14 right we are full again so let's go transport these then uh, what I'll probably have to do is I'll probably just have to plug away at this and get this contract completed off camera because there's still a lot of bailing to be done and there's going to be a lot of bales to transport. I think we've only transported, what, 16% so far, I think it said, of the needed bales. This will probably be, what, 32, maybe? Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I'll probably end up having to, like I say, plug away off camera for several more hours tonight before I have my dinner. It's currently 3 p.m. in real life for me. I've got a couple of hours to plug away before dinner and then obviously multiplayer server action on Twitch this evening. Where we'll be back on this map, hopefully not doing bailing contracts. <laughs> We shouldn't be doing bailing contracts. We should be doing lots of seeding, I think. We've got a planter and seeder that's capable of doing loads of different crops. So, um, yeah, we can get our sunflowers planted. Uh, I think we can get sorghum planted. 
soybeans. So we've got a few fields that need to be done at the start of the year. So we will be able to focus on that. We've solved our money issues in the multiplayer because, like I said, we've got rid of all the leased equipment and we took a bank loan instead, which is far more cost effective because you pay you pay far less loan interest than you do leasing fees. So we've solved our, our cash, you know, crisis where we was losing 70 grand a day, which in the winter when there's nothing really to do, when there's only ploughing and cultivating contracts on this map that pay like $150. Um, losing 70 grand a day was not fun. So we've managed to fix that issue. And uh, yeah, should be good going forward. We should be profitable. We've got greenhouses in the multiplayer. We've got chickens. So we've got steady income coming in all the while. We can definitely look on the bright side. 33% transported, so yeah. We are a third of the way completion. So I'm going to carry on. Like I say, I'll plug away. At the beginning of the next episode, I will show you how many bales we've got left over. That we've got for ourselves on this contract. And we'll complete the contract, get the money for it, get paid. And then we can start looking at maybe, like I say, getting getting a field put in, our own field put in on that bit of land that we've got. So thank you everybody for tuning in to today's episode. I've decided to keep this one shorter because the last one ran really long as well. So I've, I've balanced out Tuesday's video by making this one a bit shorter. Um, so yeah, tune in next time and... Uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. So don't forget to leave a like on the video, everybody. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel currently, make sure you subscribe and you activate your notification bell. Leave your comments for me in the comment section down below. And uh, don't forget to share the video with everyone you can. I've been C. Waddy. This is Elm Creek here in Farm Simulator 22. And it's goodbye for now.